Earthquakes, just the word, can send a chill down your spine. Imagine the ground beneath your feet suddenly shifting, a force so immense it topples everything around you. For most of us, it's a terrifying thought, but here's something incredible. Long before modern science, our ancestors in India were building structures that could stand tall even against these devastating forces. They didn't just survive, they thrived, leaving behind architectural masterpieces that are still here to tell their story. Close your eyes for a moment and picture this. Over a thousand years ago, in a bustling city in Gujarat, craftsmen are laying the foundations of a structure we now call Rani Ki Vav, the Queen's Stepwell. This isn't just a simple water reservoir, it's an engineering marvel. With intricate carvings and multiple levels, it was built not just to store water, but to endure the unexpected fury of earthquakes. In 2001, a massive earthquake shook Gujarat to its core. Thousands of buildings crumbled. But Rani Kivav, it stood firm. It's as if the builders had whispered to the earth, we understand you and we're ready. Let's journey further east to Odisha, where the Sun Temple of Konark rises like a colossal chariot. Built in the 13th century, it's not just a temple, it's a testament to human creativity and scientific understanding. The stones were interlocked in a way that allowed the temple to breathe during earthquakes. These interlocking stones act like puzzle pieces, absorbing shocks and transferring energy throughout the structure instead of letting it collapse. Modern engineers use similar techniques today, but isn't it astounding that this knowledge existed over 700 years ago? Now imagine the Kangra Fort in Himachal Pradesh, perched in the embrace of the Himalayas. Over a thousand years old, this fort has faced countless earthquakes, including the massive 1905 Kangra earthquake that measured 7.8 on the Richter scale. Many modern buildings in the region crumbled, but the fort? It stood like a silent sentinel. How? The builders used sloping walls and layered stonework to dissipate the energy of seismic shocks. They knew their terrain, respected it, and built with wisdom. The answer lies in something deeply rooted in Indian culture, Vastu Shastra. Often misunderstood as superstition, Vastu Shastra is actually an ancient science of architecture. It emphasizes balance, harmony, and alignment with natural forces. Structures were built on stable soil, oriented to minimize the impact of tectonic movements and designed to work with nature, not against it. This wasn't just about beliefs. It was about keen observation and respect for the earth. Speaking of observation, let's talk about materials. Ancient Indian architects didn't choose materials at random. They picked granite, sandstone, lime, and even wood for specific reasons. Granite, for instance, is incredibly strong and can endure immense pressure. Lime mortar, used extensively, has elastic properties that allow it to flex during seismic activity. In fact, a UNESCO study in 2021 revealed that lime mortar outperforms modern concrete in areas prone to earthquakes. Imagine something considered old-fashioned might actually be smarter than what we use today. Let me tell you a story about segmented pillars. Imagine a pillar not made of one solid piece, but multiple segments stacked together. Each segment could move slightly, absorbing the tremors of an earthquake and protecting the overall structure. This technique can be seen in the Brihadiswara temple in Tamil Nadu. Built in the 11th century, this temple has faced centuries of earthquakes and still stands as an architectural marvel. Isn't that incredible? It's like nature and architecture dancing in harmony. Another brilliant technique was weight distribution. Ancient architects carefully placed heavy elements like domes and spires to lower the center of gravity, ensuring stability during earthquakes. Take the temples of Hampi, for example. A 2020 research paper highlighted how their strategic weight distribution helped these temples remain standing for over 500 years, despite the seismic activity in the region. It's like they knew the secret to balancing the Earth's forces. Take the temples of Kajuraho, for instance. Built between 950 and 1050 AD, these temples have withstood earthquakes, invasions and natural erosion. Recent laser scanning studies show how the sandstone blocks were layered to allow the temples to flex during seismic activity. It's not just about survival, it's about thriving against all odds. Let's bring this closer to home. Have you ever wondered if we're missing something in our modern world? These ancient buildings remind us that progress isn't just about speed and size, it's about wisdom, balance and respect for the earth. Imagine if our skyscrapers could gently sway with the Earth's tremors instead of collapsing. What if our homes were built with materials that could last centuries instead of decades? Scientists are now looking back to these ancient techniques for answers to modern problems. A recent study by IIT researchers found that incorporating traditional methods like interlocking stones and lime mortar could increase the seismic resistance of modern buildings by up to 50%. Think about that, the answers to our future might just lie in our past. So, 
What can we learn from these ancient architects? Perhaps it's the idea that innovation doesn't always mean inventing something new. Sometimes it's about rediscovering something old and understanding it in a new light. These ancient structures aren't just buildings. They are stories etched in stone, lessons waiting to be heard. If this journey through ancient Indian architecture has moved you, share this video with someone who might feel the same. Don't forget to subscribe to Universal Insights for more stories that connect the past and the future. And let us know in the comments which ancient technique do you think we should bring back to our modern world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.